What's up, everyone? This is Saiyan Sonic 91 back once again for some more Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last part, we kind of goofed off here in uh, Toad Town. Let me just switch back to character for right now. And in this part, we're actually going to be starting on Chapter 3. So enough goofing off, damn it! And like I said in the last part, Chapter 3 is actually my favorite chapter in the game. I don't know if that means that the developers thought it was kind of not as good as the others, but whatever. If they put it in, it's good enough. Basically, in Forever Forest, you gotta look for different interactions between the bushes. Like, for instance, these flowers are actually moving back and forth, so that means you use the path that the flowers are on. Pretty simple. I'm walking around. Will you fight me? <laughs> Dangerous. Whatever, Roomba. I was gonna pass anyway, jackass. I know. Shut up. I already told him about this. Shut up. So really, the interaction can be about anything. Whether well, just different. Oh God, not you again! Damn it! Here we have forest fuzzies. Second cousin of the regular black fuzzies, and they're twice as annoying. Luckily, they don't have that much HP. Really? Really, Mervily? Seriously. Nothing. I don't think you even really defended for that one. <laughs> so basically they attack you by like sucking sucking out your veins and that sort of thing. So they're something like little fuzzy vampires. Still more believable than the whole cast of fucking Twilight. I know Twilight's a dead subject, but bite. There it is. Damn fuzzies. Um, yeah, let's let's use it. The snowman doll. To show off how it works. Frosty comes down and stamps on your motherfucking heads. Unfortunately, it seems these guys have five HP as opposed to four. Damn. And unfortunately, these guys have a very annoying dot of multiplying. And they can heal themselves, too. Eat them enough yet? I know I do. Power bomb. Suck on that. Little bastards. Mamet, seems like you're the one for this place. I'm actually gonna try and now uh, look around a bit before I go to the right path, because there are some areas in the forest that are pretty much like branched off by by a little path like, pathway like this. So you pretty much want to look for areas like this because they might have hidden stuff in them. I know, genius. Know that you don't offer any goddamn advice that's worth anything. Now you actually have to click on the flowers to make sure they do what you want. That one moves around. I guess I already found that one because the other one back there looks like the same flowers as these. But these flowers look different. So, let's go to the next one. Here it is, with another ball ball. And he gives you yet another seed. Only one left. And that's not for like another four. No, it's not four chapters, two chapters. 
Oh god, not you. So you saw the tree making a face at you, that's the correct passageway. Let's move on. I know there was another passageway in here. Whoa. Damn piranha plants. Okay, now I gotta look back and see if I can click on the others. This flashes once. That one flashes a whole bunch. I'll take my chances. having to deal with piranha plants since they move pretty fast. But it's worse if you have to deal with fucking fuzzies. And the pair of piranha plants. Jesus. It's much too late for me to be up. But at least I get to level up. Thank you, Vomit. Okay, I think last time was that, so time for more HP. Jesus, they're everywhere. Aha! There's the boost mansion. I sworn there was another area. Oh well, I'm not gonna lose... I'm not gonna lose my hair over it, just cause I'm goddamn fuzzies. So, basically on this road, pretty much just look for the sign. Power bomb, please. Thank you. I think this is pretty good place to train if you're if you're uh, looking under leveled. Me, I think I'm fine. Damn, who's know how to pick their mansions? Quite the spectacle for a bunch of dead guys. God knows what the hell that thing was in the forest. Yeah, who couldn't have seen that coming? It's the butler again. Who screamed at me? Mario! 
You guys all know about the uh, Easter egg in the RPG, so they decided to bring it back. Except they put Mario in his original form instead of the Super Mario Brothers form. You know, with the green and the red and all that. Instead of the original Mario Brothers arcade form, which is actually blue. Quite the place here. Have a room? It's gonna be more and more tedious. Hey, you're blocking something. Unfortunately, there is nothing to get him to move, so we're going to have to move on ourselves. We will find a way. Just you wait. Hmm. What do we got in here? It's a flock of booze. Holding a record? So, it's just... A sight game. Alright, let's see. I see him. That one. You failed. I don't think I ever see Boo with their tongues out trying to mock me. I don't like it one bit. Jerks. Just because I beat you at your own goddamn game. Alright, now that we got the record, we can get this guy to move in more ways than one. I know how to do the damn thing. Basically, just rapidly tap A. You don't even have to do it that fast, anyway. Let's make sure it's past the OK mark. And what this will do is make the boo dance. At least I think it will. I don't think he's moving. Because he's supposed to be, like, right in front of the fireplace. I didn't see jack shit, man. Get dancing. I guess I have to do it slowly first. Yep, he's doing it now. Now I'll just get towards the treasure chest and take what is wrongfully yours. Oh, wait. It's pretty, pretty fly dancing moves there, man. For a dead guy. Or anything. So are booze like dead mushroom people? I don't know. Maybe booze are just there. <laughs> booze are just spirits. God knows. So just jump on the couch, grab onto the chandelier, and now use what you just obtained to hold the chandelier down. So we can go into this room. Hmm. This looks mighty suspicious. Yeah, what the hell? I'm greedy. <gasps> Holy shit. Booze are cool. <laughs> Very cruel. Hmm. Let's go through this door next. See what this leads. Empty room with a couple boxes. Yippee! Hmm. A big treasure chest we got here. Sweet dear damn it! Another damn seeing eye game. Cough, cough, harder. 
Oh, they actually toss it around. Alright, I still see him. That one. There's a boo in my face! And we got the super boots! Attack power of Mars Jump Guises. And now you can do the spin jump. Not ripping off Sega or anything. Come in, you guys fucked up twice. Basically, it allows you to do a ground pound maneuver. It's not really a spin jump so much as it is a ground pound. With it, you can break boxes like this. Break it with your ass, Mario. Hidden inside boxes are nice items. Star piece. Oh, that is so mine. see any star piece. All I see is a switch. Another switch. And a holy shit big switch. How do you stop this one? Use your new ground pound maneuver. Nice digs. And here we have the boo shop. We of course have super mushrooms. I guess you have to talk with the guy first before he shows you the stuff. Oh, he's being a dick. Well, I'll do it anyway. Uh, this bag is a mystery bag. It pretty much turns into a random item based on a slot roulette. Stopwatch stops enemies temporarily. It's pretty much like Dizzy Dial or Sleepy Sheep. It's uh, never re reliable. Uh, snowman Doll, you already seen it. Maple Syrup, you already seen it. And a new mushroom, the Life Shroom. Which, if you die with this in your inventory, you can come back to life with 10 HP. And if you just want to use it regular, regularly, it heals 10 HP. So in other words, that's your auto life. That's your uh, lifeline in the game. And many people use them to pretty much give themselves a safety net. Items. I'll get rid of Tasty Tonic. That thing's a piece of shit anyway. Um, 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 uh, yeah, good. I got a lot of health items. Health items aren't really my thing. I'm more about using magic. Or, uh, flower points, whatever you like to use. And slam on that. Just because I can. Uh, or even... What the fuck? Screwing with me. Yeah, let's just let's just get up to the top fucking floor already, please. I think I keep on smashing that box for more and more super mushrooms. I have to do so much damn jumping in this damn mansion. Make your damn stairs plumber accessible. in a fucking elevator. Get with the times, man. Okay. I'm talking to a goddamn picture frame. And what's in here? Uh, nothing. I believe I was already in there, so... Maybe I wasn't. I wonder if there's a floorboard. And new. No. no floorboards in Chia. I believe it's down the the Mario room over here. That's what I'm gonna call it. And I believe in these boxes. At least in one of them. Or apples! They heal 5 HP each. Actually, let's take an apple over a fucking drum. Later on, you get a batch that pretty much permanently makes you electric, so it's kind of pointless. Alright, Paracurry, come back out and give me a lift. This 
Get you with the food portrait. Which you need to put back in its picture frame. Strange, yes. Mario game logic, duh. Okay, let's try to get on this. Shit. Failure! Bomb that, come back out, and blow up the wall. Angry! Okay. Get out of here for a quick sec. Because I need to save and put this one to. Ah! Good thing. Anywho, time and let's say Paper Mario. Put the old boo back in this portrait. And we'll see Lady Bo at the top of the stairs. God help me. This place is huge. I'll see you guys then.